Obama moving closer to a decision on his running mate. It's expected today or tomorrow. John McCain whittling away at Obama's lead in the polls. What does that mean for both of their VP choices? With us from Washington this morning, Republican strategist Sherry Jacobus. Hi there, Sherry. Good morning. And in New York, Democratic strategist Keith Boykin. Hi there, Keith. And Hi, good, Heidi. Good morning to you both. Let's get started on this thing because, you know, at any moment, right in the middle of this interview, we could finally get the VP announcement. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll be waiting for that. Uh, want to look first at the CNN poll of polls and uh, talk a little bit about the numbers now that we are seeing. Uh, you see the dates there, August 10th through the 18th. Voters' choice for president, Obama, 45 percent, McCain, 44, 11 percent, still unsure. So that will certainly make a difference. But the lead is shrinking day by day for uh, Senator Obama. And our David Gergen actually says he needs a game changer. Let's talk about who a game changer might be. Sherry, do you want to take it first? I, I think it's obvious it would be Hillary Clinton. Had she been the pick to uh, be his vice presidential running mate earlier in the summer, uh, it wouldn't be exciting. Uh, the summer would be all about Bill Clinton. It would be old news by now. But at this point, it, would be a it could be a game changer. It would be a bold, exciting pick. Uh, and because uh, I, I think it looks like Obama needs her, like it or not, he needs her and he doesn't like it. So he's in a little bit of a tough position. But Hillary Clinton, quite frankly, when you look at the numbers, when you look at the polls, when you look at who he needs to pull in his, his side, she's sort of, uh, it, it's low-hanging fruit. Whether or not he does it, I guess we could find out in a matter of minutes. But that's probably who he needs to choose. Keith, you're laughing. What are you laughing at? Well, you know, I, I don't buy into the panic argument right now. Barack Obama has still been ahead in almost every poll that's been conducted since mid-May. There's only two polls that have been conducted where he's even trailed. Obama's in a strong position. The American people want change. They're tired of George Bush. They don't want a third Bush term. They are 81% of the public wants change. So it's like it's, it doesn't really make sense to me that people are panicking and say he needs a game changer. He just needs to, to focus on his strategy and keep doing what he's doing, and he'll do well. Well, to be fair, the, this latest poll that we have is a poll of polls. It's taken into account several different polls, and that's how we came up with the number here at CNN. Who, who do you see him choosing? Who would help him the most at this stage in the game? Well, you know, a few days ago, if you'd asked me, I would have said that maybe Kathleen Sebelius would have been chosen. Then I, I thought Evan Bayh. Then I thought Tim Kaine. Now I'm leaning toward Joe Biden. It changes every day. It's hard to really be serious about this because the honest truth is that the only person who knows is Barack Obama, maybe a few people in his close circle, and maybe the candidate who's been chosen as well. And, you know, I don't know that it makes a difference. The vice presidential selection doesn't make a difference in terms of moving forward the candidate. Yeah. It only could hurt the candidate. And I don't think he's in a position where he's likely to pick somebody to hurt him. Okay, so that being said, maybe it's not a VP choice that could be the game changer. Sherry, what do you think uh, Barack Obama could do at this point to uh, get back his increase? Or what could John McCain do to keep the momentum going? Well, first of all, I think that the vice presidential choice in this election uh, might be different than other years. I think it is uh, key for Barack Obama because of his lack of experience. Uh, what we do know, that what the voters think, is that they do like both men. Uh, their personal stories and, and, and their journey to this point, uh, it's unique, it's compelling, uh, and, I, and I think that's good for the electorate. We've, we've had a good look at them. We saw the CNN specials last night. As we get closer to Election Day, people are taking a good look at both of these men a little bit closer, and they're going with who they feel more comfortable with uh, in these modern times. And it looks like more and more that person is John McCain. Now, that's not a personal slight against Barack Obama. As I said, I think the electorate finds both men uh, likable and compelling and interesting. Uh, but we're looking for a commander-in-chief, and the world is a dangerous place. Uh, so that's why uh, I, I think because of the inexperience issue, Barack Obama's vice presidential running mate uh, is more significant than John McCain, who is well known to to the country, uh, whose experience is very broad, uh, but but still, it's it's somewhat significant. But I think the bold okay. choice and the excitement would probably be, quite frankly, around the Obama choice. All right, Keith, I'm going to give you the last word here. What does Barack Obama need to do to get back up in the polls? Well, he has five opportunities to sort of close the deal, quote unquote. The first is the pick of the vice presidential nominee. The second is the convention next week. And he's got three presidential debates. I agree with Sherry on one thing. People will start paying attention after the summer. Right now, it really doesn't matter. But if you look at the state polls, and remember, this is not a national election, but a state by state election, Obama is doing very well. If he continues with the strategy, he will do well in the election. All right. To the both of you, we'll be watching, and I know you will, too. Keith Boykin and Sherry Jacobus. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Heidi.